Tonight, the trial for the man accused in the and the deaths of these six children is in the hands of the jury. Jonathan e. Walker faces several charges, including six counts of vehicular homicide, each one representing one of those Woodmore Elementary students. Today, for the first time, we heard Walker's account of the November 2016 crash on Tally Road as he took the stand. Hannah Lawrence was in court all day today and shows us what Walker had to say today. Hannah. Josh, the jury has had that case for about two hours now. We're about to show you some of Walker's testimony from today. We do want to warn you that some of the images in this story are disturbing. It's the first time we've heard Jonathan e. Walker's side of what happened the day his school bus went crashing into a tree, killing six students. The bus on the side, slid, and his defense for what happened, Walker says a white transportation bus was partially in his lane coming down this street. I'm thinking, you know, either there's going to be a collision or I can get out of the way. So I chose to get out of the way. He described the moment he felt the bus begin to tilt, but he says he blacked out and woke up in this position. My arms were locked like this with the steering wheel and my legs were like, you know, stiff. Before Walker took the stand, <laughs> parents cried and ran out of the courtroom as the assistant Hamilton County medical examiner testified about the injuries the kids had. He says one of the boys who was killed, Demayan Brown, was ejected, but then the bus fell on him. There's some also impact injuries to his lower torso. In the video of the moments after the crash, you can see Walker get back on the bus I did what I could. and try to help everyone else that he could. Several of the students, like the one you see moving an arm here, were pinned. I tried to assist them that way. Yesterday, the state presented these cell phone records that show Walker took a phone call minutes before the crash. Walker testified he did take that phone call, but says it was on his hands-free Bluetooth device and lasted less than a minute. Walker also testified that he was not on the phone at the actual time of the crash. He said that he was going 35 miles per hour during, down Tally Road. Uh, the speed limit there is 30. Officers testified that they believe he was going about 50 miles per hour. Reporting live in Hamilton County, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thank you, Hannah. Stay with News Channel 9 for updates on the trial. We'll have a live stream once the jury reaches a verdict. Search WTBC on Facebook and turn on notifications for live videos. Still to come.